This video describes the process for installing and configuring R for use with Stack Graphics 18. R is an open source programming language and software environment for statistical computing and graphics. It may be downloaded and installed for free from the internet. R is supported by a large number of libraries called packages that perform different types of statistical analyses. Stack Graphics 18 interfaces with R to perform several new types of statistical analyses, such as CART. In order to use the procedures in Stack Graphics 18 that rely on R, you must first download it and install it. If you select R interface, R installation and configuration from the Stack Graphics menu, you'll see this dialog box. The first thing you need to do is push the button labeled install, which will begin the download process. Pushing the install button will start your web browser and take you to a site on the internet which hosts the R project for statistical computing. You'll see in the first paragraph a link to download R. Click on that link. When you click on the link, you'll see a list of mirror sites all around the world from which you can download and install R. Select a site close to you. You'll then see a page similar to this with the links for downloading and installing R, for Linux, for the Mac, and for Windows. Click on the link that says Download R for Windows. This will start a standard download and installation process similar to other Windows applications. Follow the instructions. When the installation is complete, you'll see an icon appear on your desktop similar to that on the screen. The next thing you need to do is go to that desktop icon and click on it with your right mouse button. This will display a pop-up menu. Select the menu item labeled Properties. This will display a Properties dialog box similar to what you see here. Click on the Shortcut tab and look for the field labeled Target. Highlight the contents of that field and press Control C to copy it to the Windows clipboard. Now return to Stack Graphics and find the R installation and configuration dialog box. Put your cursor in the edit field under step 2 and push Control V. This will paste the path to R into that edit field. To be sure it's working properly, press the test button which should launch the R console. The R console is a place where you can type commands or enter data and have R do different types of analyses. We're not going to use R directly, however, so you can push the exit button at the top right corner to close the R console. The third step of the configuration process is to specify the maximum amount of time that Stack Graphics will wait for R to execute a set of commands it sent from Stack Graphics. The default value is 120 seconds. If you're analyzing large amounts of data, it's possible that R could take longer than that to complete its operations. If you need to, you can later come back here and increase that timeout. The last thing you need to do is install packages. Depending upon what procedures you want to use in Stack Graphics, you'll need to select different packages. Everyone needs to install Pandoc and Arc Markdown. Everyone also needs to install ggplot2. The other packages, Seasonal, Interval, Snowball, Mass, Tree, and so forth, are only required 
to perform the indicated analyses. To install a package, push the indicated button. This will bring you into the R console. Once in the R console, press Control V. This will paste certain commands into the console and cause R to install the desired packages. You need to repeat this process for each package you want to use. Once you've completed these four steps, you're good to go. You can now select R interface from the Stack Graphics menu and execute your desired statistical analysis.